Your WNEM TV5 News Update. Good morning, I'm T Sierra Cersei. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're following for today. Another Flint City Council meeting derailed by some fighting. T 10 minutes in a 30 minute recess was called by Councilperson Liddell Lewis. Councilperson Eric Mays was later removed from that meeting and Council Members Jerry Winfrey Carter and Dennis Pfeiffer removed themselves from chambers. The council was supposed to discuss resolutions for ARPA and opiate settlement funds and a contract with Priority Waste. UAW leadership sending its tentative agreement with Stellantis to a vote by union members. So workers will get a 25% raise, cost of living adjustments, $5,000 ratification bonus, and thousands of temporary workers will become full-time. UPS hiring for the holidays. The company is hosting virtual interviews for its hub in Flint. They need drivers, helpers, warehouse workers. You can make anywhere from $18.40 to $23 an hour. The virtual interviews are Saturday. They run from 10 to 2. You can sign up through the hot link section on WNEM.com. Let's check in with Matthew for a look at our forecast. Thank you, Sierra. For this Friday, we are tracking some breezier conditions, but it does bring some warmth into mid-Michigan. We are expecting our wind gusts this afternoon to make their way up to around 30 miles per hour, possibly even just higher than 30 miles per hour, too. That'll be during the early to mid-afternoon when they peak, eventually slowing back down into the evening and tonight. We are, and then we will stick with that lighter wind all through the upcoming weekend. High temperatures for today make their way up to around 53 in the Great Lakes Bay region, 55 in Flint, lower 50s into the northern parts of the also farther up north, but still again a milder day. This should actually be the warmest day of this work week so far. First hour by hour does just have some mostly cloudy skies as we go throughout the entirety of your Friday and a couple of isolated showers or sprinkles this evening too. Not expecting anything significant with this rainfall. I think you'll still be able to carry on with your Friday evening plans as normal. Any rain that does form will eventually come to an end as we go through the overnight hours. This leads into a completely dry weekend at this point, so no more rain chances for Sunday, partly to mostly cloudy both days. Remember to set the Clocks back one hour or two on Saturday night with daylight savings time coming to an end. But if you have anything to do outdoors this weekend, really looking pleasant for both tomorrow and on Sunday with a lighter wind as well. We do start off next week on Monday with a better chance of rainfall and even a few more showers right through the middle of next week too. So next week is looking more showery and eventually we'll cool back down to the 40s starting Wednesday and Thursday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.